Hey there, I'm Eric Andreas, also known as your Guitar Sage in the online guitar learning community. And I'm assembling this four part series for learning guitar players. Learning guitar players, that's all of us. Beginners, intermediate, and advanced. These four lessons, to me, are the most quintessential lessons, techniques, that you need to know as a guitar player. Okay, so whether you're advanced or beginners, these are the most important. Okay, this is number one. We're going to be focusing on left and right hand and some other techniques as well. So today we're going to be focusing on the picking hand. So let's dig into this right away. Okay, so this is one of the first lessons that I think every guitar player should know one that I think every guitar teacher should teach and unfortunately it's just not taught and this is where a lot of these problems come in are the very first few lessons that should be taught that are not taught. A lot of guitar teachers will race into something that they should not because uh, they feel that the student should know this information already but the truth of the matter is is that they don't and that's why they're there is to learn. Okay, so. Any guitar player can learn these techniques, any teachers can learn these techniques, and um, let's delve into this. Okay, so specifically, talking about picking hand technique, we're not even going to concentrate on the fretting hand for a bit, okay? Here are some exercises that I teach my one-on-one -on -one students that will give you some ninja picking hand skills, okay? It goes like this. First thing that we're going to learn is the pick rest and then we're going to be talking about some strumming exercises. Okay, So the first thing is the pick rest. What is a pick rest? A pick rest is when we take our pick and we pick one string and we rest our pick on the next string. Okay, it may seem like the most simple technique in the world but I promise you this has much to do with awareness and less to do with your ability to play. Okay, It must, has m more to do with awareness. Okay. So, this first technique, what you're going to do is you're going to go through each string very deliberately and you're going to pick whatever string you're on and rest on the string that's below it. For instance, like this. So notice I'm picking the sixth string and my pick is resting on the fifth string. Okay. What happens a lot of times in beginning guitar is Folks will do this kind of picking out business, and then if they're inaccurate in their picking, they'll get two notes. The pick rest makes it to where you only pick one note, and it gives you pick control. Okay, so after you do this a few times on the sixth string, you're going to bring it down to the fifth string. And of course, we're resting on the fourth string now. So at first, take this slow if you're having difficulty doing it. It's okay to look at the strings in the beginning. Later on, you'll get good enough to where you won't have to do that. But even advanced guitar players still look at their guitar neck. Okay, so now I'm picking on the fourth string and resting on the third. And so you're going to go through all the strings the same way. Some people will ask me, how long should I do this? And the question is, the longer you do it, the better your technique will get. Obviously, there's a certain point of diminishing return where you're putting so much time into it where you've got the technique down. But just be aware. Uh, more than anything, when you're playing guitar, being aware and not overthinking things. Uh, playing guitar is if taught correctly is very simple if not taught correctly it can be very difficult so you don't want to overthink this process we're just picking into this next string and then resting okay we're going to get more advanced here in just a moment so once you go through one string then you want to do two strings this is where it starts getting more difficult so now we're going to pick through six and five and rest on four Now notice, I'm not doing this. So this is where the, this very simple technique gets a little tricky. Okay, So what we want to do is we want 
that sound, which is basically both the strings almost being hit simultaneously. while at the same time resting on that fourth string, okay? Now let's try it again with strings five and four, and we're gonna rest on the third. What this does is this builds a stellar technique in regards to pressure, like how much pressure you should put on the string, how far you should push through, at what angle you should be holding your pick. This technique takes care of a ton of picking hand techniques, um, or, or I should say this technique takes care of a ton of different small movements that need to happen in order to be accurate with your picking, okay? It takes care of all of them, okay? So again, now we're gonna pick through strings four and three, and rest on string two. And then do that for three and two, rest on one. Okay, again, we're kind of going through this quickly because I just want to show you the technique, but you may sit with this for an hour, two hours the first time, maybe 10 minutes. It just depends on how good you want to get and how quickly you're getting this. Much to do with your progress is going to have to do with how much attention you're focusing on when you're doing this sort of thing. If you can focus 100% of your attention on this and not be watching TV and distracted by other things, this is going to go a lot quicker. And that's with anything in regards to guitar or anything in life for that matter. Okay, so now we've done two strings. Now we're going to do three. So six, five, and four, we're going to rest on three like this. Okay, then five, four, three, resting on two. And uh, four, three, two, resting on one. And you're probably noticing that the technique is becoming a little bit harder to do because we're using more strings, okay? Now, pick thickness can help or hinder you when doing this. In the beginning, when you're doing strumming, like full-on strumming on an acoustic guitar, I prefer a thinner pick, like this particular one is a .60. So like a .73 and under is gonna be great for strumming on, an, on a guitar. Uh, if you're doing, or specifically on an acoustic guitar, if you're doing more intricate electric work, then you may want to thicken the pickup, have like a medium or even a heavy, okay? So after we've done these three strings, you're going to do four now. So we're doing six, five, four, three, resting on two. Now notice that I have this finger tucked underneath here. That's a little technique that you can use, a little extra ninja technique there that will help you because if that finger's there, it's gonna be hard for you to pick past it. So that's a little technique that I use. Um, now, uh, five, four, three, two, resting on one. And then the last one would be six, five, four, three, two, resting on one. Okay, do this technique. This will help tons when it comes to right hand technique, okay? Now, part two, I said we'd do part one, uh, the other bit on strumming, but we're gonna have to break this video up into another video because we've kind of gone into extension land here. We've gotten a little bit long here. So make sure you watch number two. The links are below in the video description, okay? Again, this is part one of a four part series. So you've got two, three, and four yet to check out. If you like these videos, if you like the four part series as well, you can also go to gettingstartedplayingguitar.com where I have 25 additional free lectures for you, over two hours of video that you can watch on your computer, on your iPhone, on your iPad, Android, all that good stuff. So make sure you go check that out, all right? Make sure you watch number two. See you there.